So now we have everything we wanted. So each sampling point now have the number of vertices around, okay? And um, what we want to do now, we can do something really cool because if you if you pay attention here, you can see there is a lot of them which are at zero, meaning no single vertices in our original mesh found those, okay? So we can put down a delete node. And if we just say something like, okay, uh, we want to run this on the points, okay? And it's going to be an expression. And uh, it's really cool here, you can just type an expression and depending if it's false or true, it's going to delete or not the point. So we just want to check if the counted vertices is greater than zero. And if it's true, it's going to delete the, um, the point, okay? And we just want to delete non-selected. And if we look at our sampling points grid, it starts to look a bit more like our original shape. And just to show you, I'm going to increase the number of points. And as you can see, it's really cool because now, if I just go back here, okay, for example, let's take those points. Okay, those points, basically our mesh here, no, no points from our mesh found those points, okay? So, so basically the, their count was zero. So now we can delete all of those and it's, well, at one thing it's really more optimized because we don't have to work with empty data basically. And it's also starting to look really cool because you can already do some, some cool stuff with it. Okay, so now we need to do something, okay? We need to normalize this value and then send it back to the mesh. You will see why. So one way to, to normalize, normalize the counted vertices attribute from zero to one is to extract the minimum and the maximum value, okay? And to do this, we will use a node which is really powerful, which is called the attribute promote, okay? Promote. And we are just going to plug this. And we want to promote uh, this this attribute, okay? Counted vertices. Remember, we are doing this for each of the points. Counted vertices. We don't want to delete the, delete the original, okay? We want to keep it. So uncheck this. And we want to promote basically it means you can send it from one context to another context and we want to send it from the point context to the detail context and detail is really nice because it's basically instead of having one attribute per point you have one attribute for your whole object okay and the promotion method is because we have a lot of different uh, attributes it's how we want to send it and we can use just the maximum okay so that means it's going to find the maximum number in all this list and put it here okay and we want to change it we were going just call it simply max okay so now max is so now we can we know that the sampling points with the most vertices found is uh, has found 260 vertices okay and uh, let's call it uh, max and we are going to do the same thing so control c control v i'm going to call this one min and instead of maximum, I'm going to say minimum and then mean, okay? Okay, just let me, just a little error, I, I just copy paste it, but it was not plugged to the max. So if I just do delete max, okay? So I know I have the, the max number of vertices. And then if just after I plug another attribute promote and then put minimum and call it mean, if I just look at my detail, I know that the smallest count in the sampling point is one and the highest one is 260 okay and now we have everything we need so now what we want to do is we want to send some data from the sampling points to our mesh because in the end we will just color our mesh and uh, you will see we'll just use an attribute attribute transfer okay and this is one of the most powerful nodes of Houdini it allow allows you to send data from an object to another object using the position and uh, what we want to do is we want to send data from the sampling points, so second input. And you can just, if you look at the bottom uh, of the network, it just told, tells you this is the attributes you want to transfer to, and this is the attribute you want to transfer from, okay? So from the mesh, and I'm going to start from the top node, and I'll click to create some anchors. So I'm sending data from the sampling points to the mesh. So now if I display it, I will see the mesh because the mesh is now the first input. And I want to only send only send points attribute and this will be counted vertices. And if I go into condition, 
I will just remove the distance threshold, okay? And now, if I just put down a color node, this is almost the end. Okay, if I just put it by default, you will see it will color everything white. But if I just, instead of saying constant, I say ramp form attribute. So now I can just put an attribute here and it will try to match, to apply a ramp using this attribute and the range, okay? So the range, we already know it, okay? We have the minimum and the maximum. We just need to access, okay, the, the, this, this attribute. So the detail attribute, so min and max, we want to access it from here. And it's really easy, it's a simple, simple um, expression. So if I just on the, go on the, the first input, so this one, and I just put down detail. And detail is really simple, you have to say, okay, which geometry do you want to access? And if I just open the brackets and say, okay, double point and then slash, basically this gets me out of my of, out of the node and I can look for which node that has, the, for the node that has the information that I want. And it's going to be uh, min, okay? And then it's going to be w the name of the attribute. So the attribute is min, okay? And you have to put down a last value in case it doesn't found it. So zero and now we are going to copy paste this and put it in the max value and it's going to be exactly the same but max and i'm just letting the mean node because the, the mean node has the two information so it should be okay and if we look at our mesh now okay what's happening let's put some nice colors maybe a red here okay so now nothing happening because we didn't put an attribute but now we know that each point has on the points, its point has, sorry, the attributes, which is called, where is it? Uh, counted vertices, okay, this one. So let's put it counted vertices. And if we just play with the ramp, you can see it's already working. And if you want a nice visualization, what you can do is just hit W with the mouse above the viewport. So you will, you will go into a uh, wireframe mode. And now you can start to just play around with the ramp and just add some colors. And you can see we are getting some really cool stuff. Just going to play a bit around with this. And you can see already, we can know which area of our mesh are the the most detailed one basically and if we go back to the point from volume we can change this thing okay if we change it the higher we go basically the the bigger the sampling point space with uh, the space between each sampling points will be and we will get something like this so not a lot of sampling points the the more sampling points you have the more long it will take but it's still pretty fast honestly but you will get a really fine result okay and this is basically it. I'm like it's basically done. You could add some stuff. I think I will maybe if you, like just tell me in the comments if you want another video because there, there there is a lot of way you could improve this. And but it's a bit more complex. And I can show you, for example, how to create um, like a really cool parameters interface to to um, manage the gradient, the the space um, of the sampling points. Maybe also create an interactive uh, selection where you can only select a part of your mesh, for example. One cool thing would be if you input an FBX, you could have an heat map, not of the vertices, but of the material ID. So it could be some kind of a draw call heat map, you know, so it could be really cool. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's just arrange some stuff. So I'm just going to put down, this will be normalize values. Just add some colors. And there we are, basically, it's just done. So if you just load another mesh, let's load the pig head. You will see that the only thing you have to be careful is the, the scale, okay? So if I just template my pig mesh, it's, okay, it's the right scale. Let's just put it here. I don't need the, the transform because the, the pig mesh is already at the right scale, so I can just disable it, okay? It's the top, uh, the leftmost button. And now, as you can see, it's working perfectly. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, 
honestly it's way longer than I than I planned I, I thought it would be a really short tutorial but it was really long and a bit more complex also than what I thought so if you didn't get some parts just tell me in the comments uh, I would be happy to answer and uh, I, I will also provide you with a hip file for this and the mesh if you want to try and I will put down all the expressions that you need in the description and uh, thank you